everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be a crafting diy video um i've done some crafting and diy videos before but i don't think i've done anything with my cricut so this project is actually going to be a 16 by 20 canvas for my son's big boy bedroom that i've been working on his bedroom is train themed or thomas the tank engine themed and i absolutely love this quote to start off with i put down two layers of polycrylic on a canvas the canvas is actually from michael's that i got a pack of five for like seven dollars it was a clearance item because actually one of the canvases had a hole in it um, but i figured five canvases for seven dollars is a pretty good deal so i am using polycrylic because i've never had any luck putting vinyl on canvas so i wanted to start with a smoother base next i'm going to go ahead and get everything cut out on my cricut so this design is actually one I created myself, but I did find the quote on Pinterest. I am using Oracle 651 Vinyl. Um, the fonts I'm using are Fantastic Fonts, DJ Fancy, and A Child's Year, both purchased on Design Space. The Stars and Moon I created using Shapes, and the Track Circle was something I purchased So the next step is going to be to pick out all of the vinyl that I don't want on there. So like the middle of the A's, the middle of the B's, the middle of the O's, and so on and so forth. I am currently using my Cricut weeding tool. I prefer the Cricut weeding tool over anything else. I've seen people use like tweezers, I've seen people use exacto knives i just prefer the weeding tool i do want to get one that has like a straight tip instead of the curve and try that out kind of like a needle i suppose um, but for now this is my preferred method of weeding vinyl And actually a really good tip that I have, especially now that we're getting to like the smaller bits of the train track, you can, when I'm using the Cricut weeding tool, I can pluck out multiple pieces of vinyl um, at the same pass just because like I stick, like I make a hole in the vinyl to pick it up and then like I move on to the next one. So then I have the pick and the old piece of vinyl so it kind of like sticks the new piece of vinyl on and grips onto it a little bit better and then you can pick it out faster if that makes any sense whatsoever. So the next step is going to be applying your vinyl onto the canvas. So by this time the polycrylic has dried and you're just going to take some transfer tape and cover the vinyl, rub it with a credit card looking thing. I do have a special gripper I got from Vinyl World 651. And then take that transfer tape with the vinyl on it, smooth it down on the canvas. And then another little tip when you're working with canvas, flip it over and scrape down the vinyl on the back instead of on the front so you're not stretching out the canvas um, from the empty space there made from the wood. So there's probably a million different ways to apply your vinyl and make sure everything is lining up. I kind of just eyeball it. I actually have the picture up on my computer, so I'm just kind of judging like where on here where the D and the B go um, based on where the O's are in the word moon and I just kind of do that throughout. Um, it's not fool foolproof whatsoever. Um, as you can see, I did kind of mess up a little bit. You'll be able to see that here in a minute, but I mean, it's for personal use, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think it turned out great anyway.
Alright guys, so that is all I have for you today. Hopefully this video gives you a little bit of your own motivation to go ahead and get out there and create your home, your own home decoration for your room, for your living room, for your kids room, whatever the room may be. It's super easy, super cost effective, and super fun and you can put in your own style so it's all yours. Hopefully you guys will subscribe down below as well and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!